here I am and my friends back in 2019 posing with RNA Herr Nobel Prize winner awarded for revolutionizing the electrophysiology. His explanation on his discoveries concerning the function of the single ion channels caught my attention in a way that I decided to um, research in the field of electrophysiology. Ion channels are transmembrane proteins limiting the selectivity of the plasma membrane to specific ions, in this case, potassium ions. One of their subgroups is called the background channels, uh, which, are take, which uh, take part in stabilizing the resting membrane potential. The number of the ion channels in the plasma membrane is called expression, while the activity is the responsiveness of the channels. Background potassium channels form the largest and the most diverse group of ion channels. Their main role is to set and stabilize the resting membrane potential, as well as regulating the excitability of the cells. We work with one of the two port domain potassium channels called TRESC, which is expressed in various human cell types, such as primary somatosensor neurons or T lymphocytes. K2P channels generally consist of four transmembrane alpha helices. They are connected into each other by extra and intracellular loops. TRESC shows a significant difference compared to the other K2P channels since it has a short intercellular C terminal region, while the other K2P channels have long. The other K2P channels are regulated mostly on their uh, long intracellular C terminal region, while TRESC is known to be regulated on its uh, intracellular loop between the second and the third uh, transmembrane alpha helices. However, whether the short intracellular C terminal region have any effect on uh, the channel activity has not yet been clarified. The TRES channel can be investigated in um, African clay frog oocyte expression system by using the two electrode voltage clamp technique. We prepared the cDNA of the mutants. Um, by the help of some bacteria, and then uh, in order to understand the function um, of the intracellular C terminal region, we made several modifications. We replaced certain amino acids with hydrophobic or positively charged ones. Our aim was to investigate whether the C terminal region has any effect on the channel activity. Uh, when the cDNA of the mutant is cloned, we prepared cRNA and then injected uh, the cRNA into African clave frog oocytes. The oocyte express um, the, the channel into its uh, plasma membrane, and then we can measure uh, the potassium current through the plasma membrane with the measurement system called voltage clamp. This is called voltage clamp because the voltage is clamped by the voltage electrode pair, and then we can measure the needed current by using the current electrode pair. On the left side, you can see the measured potassium current um, of an oocyte in, for reference with no TRESC uh, channel expression. And on the right side, a figure shows that the potassium current um, is this high um, in the case of the TRESC channels in the cell membrane. The potassium current can be measured across the plasma membrane, mainly depends on two factors, the number of the channels and the activity of the channels. Traditional electrophysiological measurements do not allow us to determine these uh, two factors independently. So uh, we made um, a measurement system uh, that uh, we were since primarily interested in the changes in the channel activity and not in the expression. Um, we developed this new uh, NR measurement method, which can be used to determine these factors uh, independently. The TRES subunit was joined together with uh, uh, sodium channels, and uh, this protein complex is expressed as the way, as I mentioned before, uh, in the oocytes uh, membrane. So we measured the sodium current and the potassium current and the uh, uh, potassium current divided by the sodium current gives the NR value, which is proportional to the channel activity, but independent of the number of the channels. 
In a patient with migraine, the F362 uh, mutation of TRESC was identified, which is located exactly in the short intracellular CTAM in the region that we investigated. Here, uh, at the position of uh, 362, uh, um, phenylalanine was replaced by a smaller leucin. We wanted to know whether this point mutation has any effect um, in terms of channel activity. So we prepared this clone, and uh, as I mentioned before, and expressed this mutant uh, in oocytes. The measured sodium and potassium currents, uh, and we calculated the in, uh, NR value be belonging to this uh, mutant. The F362 uh, mutant showed the a reduced NR value compared to the channel with the white type intracellular CTAM in a region. Based on the NR data um, and in, in contrast to the traditional measurements, we can assume that this single amino acid plays a significant role um, controlling the activity of the channel. Based on the no structure of a peptide, uh, which was truly investigated earlier, and also taking into account the hydrophobic pattern of the C terminus of TRESC, um, we designed a membrane utterance sequence fragment with hydrophobic and positively charged amino acids. When the, al when, um, the almost uh, entire C terminus was uh, artificially replaced by uh, this uh, sequence, we expect the last 18 amino acids uh, to interact with the inner surface of the plasma membrane. We named this modification RW61, uh, uh, um, and we used this mutant channel in our further experiments to characterize the C-terminal region of TRESC. Here, each data point represents the potassium current of an oocyte expressing uh, uh, the white type or the RW361 uh, uh, channels. In the traditional measurements um, with the oocytes, uh, the mutant with the hydrophobic uh, and positively charged um, uh, C-terminal region gave a significantly smaller uh, potassium current compared to the white type. Um, and in order to be able to compare the, those constructs, we increased the, in, the amount of injected cRNA, um, and we, in order to obtain similar base occurrence, uh, as in the case of the white type. To our surprise, the RW mutant showed an enormous, more than seven-fold increase in the NR value. This means that the RW mutant um, has a significantly higher basal activity compared to the constitutively active uh, white type group. By comparing the conventional and uh, NR measurements, we can conclude that this RW mutant is a channel with low expression but high activity. Modifications of the C-terminal region of TRESC affect channel function. The migraine-related mutation reduced the NR value, so the channel activity, by replacing uh, the c in the region of TRESC with positively charged or hydrophobic parent, uh, we can achieve an increase in the channel activity. All in all, the activity of the human TRESC channel is massively dependent on the structure of the short intracellular c in the region. Our studies prove that the intracellular c in the region of TRESC is a particularly important determinant of the channel expression and activity. I'm grateful to my supervisor, who was the mentor of the ECTAMI uh, in October, for providing me with the help and supporting Atmosphere to learn and carry out all these experiments. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>